if you were um, if you were to become a teacher, what would you change about our education system? I know you have some really strong feelings about um, suppression of the spirit, and, you know, and this can't can't do this and should do this, and these terms that you know walls, and it seems to be. The schools seem to be a wonderful place to start, especially for children, to be able to break free of these, these kind of ideas. What would you change if you were a teacher? What, what would you change about the school system? A couple of things. Tell me about those. I'm really curious to hear. Um, I think that I'd start with the child at the very earliest level. When you work with children, they don't know any boundaries yet. Uh -huh. They don't know any social right. boundaries yet. Right. So it's important to teach them, don't hurt your brother. Um, but they have an affinity for knowing what they're attracted to. They know why they reach for something. Yes. If I could change the education system, I would turn on the listening. And I'd ask those kids, why are you reaching for I'd give them an aptitude test at a very young age to see what they were attracted to. Mm -hmm. Now you're working with the energy that that child was born with. You're working with the natural affinities. You're working with the natural gifts. And those gifts can change. But if they learn to develop the skills they're reaching for first, they can develop any skill later. Right. But when you tell them this skill is no good, do that one instead. Yeah. You've taken away the heart. Oh, well, you've taken away a lot of the choices for one. And Western education is famous for that. Do your reading and your writing and do this and do that and don't do anything else and here's this boring content and not shaping the content to the child's interest. So if I could upend up the education system, I would put far more range of experience in. I put more art, I put more music. The studies are all there that children's grades go up, 50% art, 50% music, increases their scores, not taking the art programs out of the schools and eliminating the music, their math scores go down, sorry, but music and math scores are right there. Um, and you can up a math score by mastering music. And those kids who don't fit in the cracks, and I'm not even talking art and music, those kids who, who may have skills we don't even know about, how are we gonna find those skills? They're born to bring something to the human race if we listened first and then temper the education. And yes, you need to learn to read, write, and do sums. Right. But if the education is tempered in a way that it makes sense, now the kid is going to learn the skill because it's in the range of their focus. They're going to be developing the skill they need in order to do that. And that's how problems are solved. You dream it, now you find the focus for it, and now you locate what it is you need, now you assemble it. It's very organic, and that's been thrown out. It's everybody march to the same drummer, all sit there, all be quiet, all... Life is messy, so education needs to be a little bit messier around the edges. Messier? That's what I think. Well, um, I think one of the, one of the things that, that always bothered me was the this, this movement for the last... And for me, it's, you know, because I'm not where you're at, is um, observing this removing of all the humanities in the schools. It seems to be a movement towards trade and teaching, you know, just to Big cat. mistake. Yeah, see? Because. Tell, tell me, tell me, tell big, me what you big, think big about. Big, big mistake, because without the ability to, it's like. Do, do you agree? Do you see what I'm talking about? I see exactly what you're saying. You have to be able to break the box. How do you break the box? You're stuck in a situation as a child where you are a victim. The trick is not being a victim your whole life. You are at the mercy of your adult's choices. Yes. When you're a child, you're a child. You have to break the box. How do you do it? You do it by dreaming. You do it by getting, having the freedom to be attracted to what you want to be. You do it by reading books. You do it by exposing yourself to other ideas. Humanities, where the imagination is in play, break the box. Even if they break the box in a way you don't like, you can say, I don't want this world. No. I don't want this character's choice in a book. I don't want this. But you have to have a way to break the box. And, you know, I got in a tiff with a, a librarian at my college, free as my college Really? Was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I wrote them. You know, I've always sent my books there as an alumni. And, and she said, oh, your books are 
they, they've disappeared off the shelves, some of them. They're not all here. And we can't keep them in a separate place to guard them. And they're very popular. But you know, it was, it was like, she didn't see the meaning of them. And I wrote her back a scathing letter. I said, you have to be able to break the box. How do you get the courage to break the box if you haven't been given it? Like I had the chance to run wild mm -hmm. a bit. You have to be inspired to. So you read the Robinson Crusoe's. You read, it doesn't matter what you read that breaks the box, even if it's experimental physics. Right. Something's got to get you reaching. Right. When Werner von Braun did the rocketry that got us to the moon in a time that was so short no one believed it could be done, he hired engineers straight out of school. And he wanted the ones who were thinking unconventional because he said the minute they got old enough to get their degree and know what they were doing, they knew what they couldn't do. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to drop the limits. Now where can you do that? Where is it safe to do that in this world that is getting crowded where you can see that a lot of the things you're trying to do might hurt your brother? How are you going to know? Where are you going to get that fresh air? Where are you going to let in? You get it by open focus, taking a walk, but you also get it by springboarding off of contact with other experience. Yes. You make it your own. I can't give you exactly what I saw when I painted a picture or wrote a story. Right. You right. will take your, that your own original vision, right. It's yours now. Where are you going to get that breath of fresh air? Where are you going to get that experimental idea? you got to break the rules, and where's it safer to break the rules than in the humanities or on paper? Yes. In a book or a story, yes. you can I, break I those agree. rules, so you, and you, can, you, know you can see the consequences, you can refine your awareness of the consequences, you can make better choices. So, again, if you only look at the world we've got and you look at destroy from there, we're only going to shrink what we can do. Yeah. If you chuck the boundaries, now we have a way to float new things in. So. Humanities may not be the best way to do this. I don't, but it's what we have. It's one way. Yeah. I don't want that numbing culture where we're told you can't have this, you can't have that. And, and what about the kids that would be inspired to rise out of? In other words, kids, everybody can talk about their defining moment. You know, I saw this one thing and I went, wow, I want to do that. What inspired you to reach? And then what inspired you to reach past what you were given? So you stand on the shoulders of giants, but if we take away the giants of any stripe, mm -hmm. even the trade giants, what do you have? One thing less. Yeah. Not more.